Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future of web design. With advancements in AI technology, it's no longer just a thing of science fiction. It's here, it's now, and it's changing the game for every industry. Gone are the days of spending countless hours designing a website from scratch. Now, with the power of AI at our fingertips, we can create stunning and professional looking websites with AI itself. In this video, we're gonna completely show you how to use AI to build a website that's gonna blow your competition out of the water. From getting a domain name and web hosting to using AI to produce layout and concepts for your website, we've got you covered. And if that wasn't enough, we'll even show you how to use AI-powered text generation to create compelling content for your website. But wait, there's more! We'll also reveal the secret ingredient that was used to make this entire introduction possible, the AI-powered language model ChatGTP. Yes, you heard that right. This entire introduction was written using AI. Can you believe that? So now with all of this power available to the public for free, it poses one serious question. Is this the end for us web designers? Well, that's what we're here to find out. But first, I want you to meet my friend Daniel Shaw. He's a respectable yet totally imaginary and completely fake landscape photographer. Daniel is looking for a solid website to show off his photography work and land some new imaginary clients. I'm gonna have AI design and generate all of the content for his website for him. And we're gonna see how well it does. And since he's not a real guy, I don't think Daniel's gonna mind being a guinea pig for us for this experiment. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's see what these robots can do. So the very first thing I did was to get a domain name and web hosting so that I could actually build the website and have it live. Now, as we know, getting a domain name and signing up for web hosting are the two two crucial components for building any website. And you guessed it, I'm even gonna use AI to come up with unique and available domain names. I started by heading over to createaprowebsite.com slash hostinger to select my hosting plan. I chose the premium plan because it comes with a free domain name for the first year, a free SSL certificate, and a bunch of other handy bonuses as well. From there, I just had to choose the term for how long I wanted my hosting plan and made sure that I used my discount code createaprowebsite to get me the one year off of the premium hosting with a domain name and all of the extra goodies for only 30 bucks. It's a pretty sweet deal. Now the next step was to select my free domain name and for this I'm going to use a little tool called ChatGTP to give me some ideas for a unique and available domain name. Now you've probably seen this by now, but if you haven't, ChatGTP is an AI chatbot that's been trained to understand and generate human language. It's been fed a ton of text from the internet so it knows a lot about all sorts of topics. That makes it really good at understanding what people are saying and responding as if it's a real person. It can be used for things like helping people translate languages, answering questions, questions, and even writing YouTube video scripts like the one you're seeing now. It's pretty cool. So let's have it generate some domain names. I entered in a prompt to have it come up with an available domain name for a male landscape photographer. Okay, sweet. Look at that. Now I actually wanted these to be a little bit shorter and also include the photographer's name, Shaw. So I just simply asked for that. And boom, now we're talking. I'm gonna go with shawshots.com with a Z cause Daniel's edgy and trendy. I just entered that into Hostinger to see if it was in fact available and indeed it was. Now from there, I popped into my WordPress dashboard and we're ready to start designing this thing. Now, most of the time when I personally design a website from scratch, I like to start with all of my media, like my photos, my logos, my text content that I want included on the site. Once I've gathered all my media, I like to begin to structure out the website based on the goals of the site. But today we're gonna let AI do all of the work for us, seriously. I'll start with getting an overall aesthetic and design inspiration for the site by using another AI tool called Midjourney. Midjourney is a cutting edge research lab that's created a one of a kind AI program that can turn written descriptions into to images. With Midjourney, you can use Discord bot commands to create your own digital masterpieces. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to join one of the chat rooms and use the slash imagine prompt to start my first image. I can type in minimalistic website design for a photographer portfolio website. And what Midjourney is going to do is add that prompt to the chat and then start working on it in the background. After that, you're going to receive four individual images of art that you can use. Now, I wouldn't say that these are particularly great by any stretch of the imagination, but to be fair, we only gave the prompt a few clues to work with. And that's how I would imagine working with AI. Every time you enter a prompt, you're basically giving it clues to get closer to the idea that you have in your head. The more words that you put down in the prompt, the closer the image can get to what you're imagining. It's basically like your lazy, stubborn, younger sibling. They're only going to do exactly what you tell them to and not much more. 
So the better the directions or prompts you give it, the better the results you're gonna get out of it. So this is the part where I have to be a bit more creative and descriptive at the same time and give Midjourney a little bit more to work with. And that's exactly what I did. I re-entered the prompt and this time with a bit more description. I said minimalistic website design for a photographer portfolio website. White, blue, dark gray, black, UX, UI, UX UI dash V4 stylized 500 Q2 S2000 update. Now the dash V4 at the end is to tell AI to use version four of Midjourney AI. And then the other commands at the end of the prompt also customize it a bit more. All right, now these four websites look so much better than the first few. I was really digging these, but now is the part where I can interact with the AI a bit further and decide whether we would like to upscale one of the images or create four different variations from one of the images. If I like one of these versions, I can always click on one of them and then upscale the options and then just make it a larger resolution of the image. Or I can create four variations of one of the specific images by clicking on the V options. I really like this image that Midjourney's AI program created. It's really impressive. I was even able to have it give me some pretty great inspiration for a logo to use for the site as well. I went ahead and whipped up this design in LogoMaker, which is a website for making logos quick and easy, and they even have a free low resolution download option so we can keep this project at as low a cost as possible. All right, at this point, I have more than enough inspiration to create a fantastic website. And now that I have that solid visual foundation, it's time to focus on the next step of building a website, which is to come up with a basic structure for the homepage and then create engaging and informative text content. Now, in order to start generating text content, I'm gonna pop back over to ChatGTP. This time, I'm gonna enter in something like, give me a broad outline for a website for a male photographer, including a hero title, tagline, call to action button, section for features, and details about the photographer. And just like that, it was able to give me a pretty decent outline, but I actually want content for the website. So let's be a bit more specific to the AI and see what we get. So I said, please provide content for each one of these that I can copy and paste straight into the website. Wow, that was pretty close to what I was looking for. This way I can copy and paste everything onto the website directly and just make some small corrections and modifications to the text. It is crazy how much time this actually saved me on writing out everything for the website. You can see that it uses generic names and locations that would need to be changed later, but this is pretty perfect for a starting place. Okay, so with the help of ChatGDP, I now have all of the information that I need to make a killer website. So next is putting all of that content to good use by building our website using WordPress and Elementor. So let's get building. I started off by downloading a super generic theme to start from, and I'm gonna customize every section to match the design that I got from midjourney.com. I loved the black and white vibe that it gave me, and that's what we're gonna be doing for designing this hero section. We got our big photo of our main man, Daniel Shaw, looking sharp, I might add front and center on his hero section, along with the headline and call to action that we got from GTP. I'm really liking the look of this. It really matches the aesthetic that I got from Midjourney AI. And then I designed the rest of the sections ChatGTP suggested to use based on the aesthetic of the hero section and filled it with some images and AI generated text, including a totally fake and hilarious testimonial section. I mean, look at this one. John's photographs are truly stunning. I purchased one for my living room and this is the first thing that my friends notice when they come over. And that's from Jane Doe. I mean, that's just hilarious that ChatGTP can come up with these. I mean, Jane isn't even a real person, yet she seems to really enjoy the fake photograph that doesn't exist at all in her fake living room with her fake friends. How sweet of her. Anyways, let's get this thing all buttoned up, including adding my logo and all of the rest of the sections. And then we'll take a look at the final website. Okay, so now the moment of truth. Let's see how these robots did for our buddy Daniel. Wow, I really like how this website turned out. We've got my boy Daniel Shaw here, standing here looking like a crime boss with this hero section. And I love how it's got these three sections here and he's sticking out over the hero section and image in the top. I like how it gives it like that 3D look. So that's pretty cool. The about section, again, I got from Midjourney AI. I just put in a prompt asking for an about section and it gave me an image that looked like this. And then again, I just recreated it inside of Elementor and I just love how it looked, especially with all these fake pictures that I got from online. And then I have the equipment section. Again, straight from Midjourney AI, got a picture and I just created this, but it's just so crispy. And especially when you crop all these images to the correct sizes so they all just line up in a perfect square, I love it. 
And then we come to my favorite part, the customer reviews. I still can't get over these. I think it's just hilarious that AI created these out of nowhere and they still sound genuine. It just made me laugh when I was building this website. Now the about section, I think is probably the crispiest part of this website. I love how it's got that super cool picture of Daniel Shaw standing there, which by the way, not the same guy, but you know, I had to make do. And then the about section talks about his biography and the style and inspiration. It's just fantastic what ChatGTP can do. And then finally, we have the contact section down at the bottom. I've got a map showing where his studio is. I've got three things at the bottom saying, do you want to talk to me? Contact form. Do you want my socials? They're here. Or come visit me at my studio. It's just so well done. And then the contact form with the mountain picture in the background is just really good. I'm honestly truly impressed by this website and the content generated by AI. This whole process was just so fascinating. Using AI to generate content and images for the website is seriously a game changer. It makes the whole process so much easier and more efficient. From getting inspiration for design elements to having complete curated content for the website. And with tools like WordPress and Elementor, creating a website with generated content is such a breeze. I literally think anyone can do this. I'm happy with this website and so is our friend Daniel Shaw who's currently sipping fake margaritas on a beach that doesn't really exist right now. What a life, Daniel. What a life. Now, with all of that being said, let's get back to the main question at hand. Do I think that AI is going to take over our jobs as web designers? And I think from watching this video, you can see that the answer is a definitive no. While AI was able to do a vast majority of the work for me, it still took me getting my hands dirty and actually building the website myself. Not to mention knowing what information to enter into the prompts to have it give me usable content and then make assets to put into the site. I wouldn't fear AI taking our jobs as creatives in this space, but instead look at it as an extremely useful and obedient assistant that's gonna be there to help you at any time. With the right direction, these tools can lead you to finishing your work faster and more efficiently than ever before. I do believe that AI has the ability to improve more over time and get to a level where even more of this process could be automated using AI. However, without our own human mind overseeing and essentially proofreading what the work from AI has done, we can't be sure if these results are actually usable or not. I wouldn't just blindly trust AI to get my work done for me, but I sure as heck can see where it's gonna be helping me a lot along the way. One of the biggest things AI can do for us currently is curate solid text content for sales pages or ad copy when marketing our websites, but there's still one thing that I think AI will not be able to do as well as a human. Now that thing is what I like to call the golden rule of web design, and it's quite possibly the most important rule when it comes to building a website. Now, if you wanna find out what that golden rule is to help your website be a success and get the results that you're after, I strongly recommend that you watch this video right here where I reveal the golden rule to you and show you how to harness all of its power. Seriously, without this rule, AI wouldn't have been able to make this website as good as it is today. I'll see you guys there.